Yep. Yeah, it's uh, what time is it? <clears throat> Seven o'clock in Ocean View, New Jersey. And uh, don't know what the temperature is. And I think it's the 22nd. I think. Ah, oh, boy. <coughs> it's warmer than Maine, I'll tell you. It was 10 degrees up at the house yesterday. <coughs> sold that house. That was Devin and Sean. And their, uh, their, their son Connor. But they had painted the chimney. Which looked really good except for the top. Yeah. Looks like there's a crack on the top. Anyway. I house sat on the market for years. And then Devin and Sean bought it. Devin's in uh, construction, so he did a lot of work on the house. They had a baby. Small house. I think it's only two bedroom. And now they're expecting another child. So uh, they sold this house and bought another one, another fixer upper. So, new people on this one. I don't know where they are. They were here in September doing some cleanup and move-ins, but they're not here now. <coughs> this, woman, this woman passed away in May or June. We were down here when the ambulance came to take her to the hospital, but she passed away a short time after that. Somebody bought it and they're trying to, uh, probably trying to flip it. There was a dumpster here in September. <clears throat> They don't get a lot of snow down here, so they don't worry about the pitch of the roof. I just noticed that they, that doesn't even have gutters on it. <clears throat> they had been renting the house to people. They were uh, evicted. They only came in and uh, cleaned everything out. Got down a bunch of trees and shrubs in the front. But right this way, Lynn. Hey, Lynn. Go. Go the other way, okay. Uh, 
I don't really see these coming. Come on, there's nothing there. A lot of tree rats here. Big tree rats. Also known as squirrels. <coughs> a lot of oak trees. A lot of acorns they save up for the winter. <coughs> a couple of nasty dogs. Hey, buddy. <clears throat> Let's go. <clears throat> We're heading, uh, I guess, a little bit southeast, maybe, east, southeast. The sun's rising up to the left there. <clears throat> Not sure if I mentioned it, but uh, I had, uh, speaking pretty prematurely about the Chinese battery operated gloves. I uh, plugged them in again and they charged up so they're ready to go at home. Oh. There goes Ross. <clears throat> Does not have remote start. <clears throat> Rita has the same problem with her Subaru, the app. Come on, My remote starts not working because there's a three-way coolant valve that throws a uh, check engine light code P26AB and uh, had it in for diagnostics. They said it was fine. Of course, the code had cleared itself by then. And uh, <clears throat> right after they checked it on the way home. They threw the code again. But after four or five startups, cold starts, it uh, clears itself. So I live with it. It's a pain in the ass on cold days. We want to be able to remote start the vehicle, get a little warm, get a little warm in the engine and the driver's compartment. <clears throat> but, uh, How many years did I go without a remote start? Well, not as many as you think. 
and I bought add-ons for the cars back in the 90s, late 90s. Flint, Flint. I had a really good remote start in my 96 Blazer. And uh, <clears throat> the vehicle de de developed a short somewhere by the hatch, rear hatch. So somebody told me a place called Sights and Sounds could fix that for me. So I went in there and told them what the problem was, that there was a short. And uh, he ripped out ripped out my good remote start, put in his. Didn't address didn't address the short, so I went to pick up the car, the truck, and uh, the short was still there. So I said to the guy, I said, you, you didn't fix it. He says, you wanted a, you wanted a uh, replacement remote start, didn't you? I said, no. So he spent another couple hours fixing the short. Never go back to that clown again. <clears throat> right, buddy? Well, you weren't around then. You're only three years old. <laughs> Looks like Flynn is not taking care of business this morning. He did last night, but then they didn't eat. So, Flynn. Well, there's going to be ticks in there. Flint. They drag their leaves to the street. Then the town comes through. Big vacuum truck and sucks them all up. Not sure when they're going to do it. But they've got more leaves that came down. they got a bunch of oak. And the oak like to hold up their lead forever. <clears throat> All right, buddy, come on, let's go. <clears throat> In the house. Boyce Lane, B-O-Y-C-E. We've got uh, natural gas in the house, but they have their own well and their own septic. I love that natural gas, but not available by us. Ross has got the forest. <coughs> the forest. Rita's got the outback. He puts a ton of miles on that car. <coughs> but, well, that's. I'm sorry. That's. <laughs> that's my daughter's car. All right.
Where it is, just warming up. Alright, that's it for today's video. Oh. Anybody want a mirror? <coughs> mm.